President Donald Trump's former defense secretary won't say the nation's chief executive is unfit for office, but he dropped some strong hints in a new interview. James Mattis shared an excerpt from his upcoming book Call a Sign Chaos, Learning to Lead, with the Wall Street Journal, and then gave an interview with The Atlantic's editor-in-chief Jeffrey Goldberg, but in both cases his criticism of the president is veiled yet unmistakable. Advertisement, I didn't cook up a convenient tradition here, he told The Atlantic. You don't endanger the country by attacking the elected commander-in-chief. I may not like a commander-in-chief one freaking bit, but our system puts the commander-in-chief there, and to further weaken him when we're up against real threats, I mean, we could be at war on the Korean Peninsula every time. They start launching something. The former defense secretary's aides and friends told the magazine Mattis found the president to be of limited cognitive ability and of generally dubious character, and that disconnect and mistrust finally drove him out of the administration in December 2018. I had no choice but to leave, Mattis said. That's why the resignation letter is in the book. I want people to understand why I couldn't stay. I've been informed by four decades of experience, and I just couldn't connect the dots anymore. Matters surveyed the news landscape earlier this month, shortly after a white supremacist whose words echoed Trump's gunned down 22 people in El Paso and amid Trump's racist attacks on Rep. Elijah Cummings and four Democratic Congresswomen, and offered perhaps his most pointed criticism. Advertisement, you've got to avoid looking at what's happening in isolation from everything else, Mattis said. We can't hold what Trump is doing in isolation. We've got to address the things that put him there in the first place. But that doesn't mean Mattis would never ever deliver a more devastating blow against the president he once served. There is a period in which I owe my silence, he said. It's not eternal. It's not going to be forever, advertisement enjoy this piece. Then let us make a small request. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David E.K. Johnston's DCR e-port, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and legal efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. We've launched a weekly podcast, We've Got Issues, focused on issues, not tweets. And unlike other news outlets, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. We're not part of a conglomerate, or a project of Venture Capital Brothers. Fun flinching coverage of racism, to revealing efforts to erode our rights, Raw Story will continue to expose hypocrisy and harm. Unhinged from billionaires and corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism and deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Click to donate by check. Enjoy this piece, then let us make a small request. Like you, we here at Raw Story believe in the power of progressive journalism, and we're investing in investigative reporting as other publications give it the axe. Raw Story readers power David E.K. Johnston's DCR e-port, which we've expanded to keep watch in Washington. We've exposed billionaire tax evasion and uncovered White House efforts to poison our water. We've revealed financial scams that prey on veterans, and efforts to harm workers exploited by abusive bosses. 
We've launched a weekly podcast, We've Got Issues, focused on issues, not tweets. Unlike other news sites, we've decided to make our original content free. But we need your support to do what we do. Raw Story is independent. You won't find mainstream media bias here. We're not part of a conglomerate or a project of Venture Capital Brothers. From unflinching coverage of racism to revealing efforts to erode our rights, Raw Story will continue to expose hypocrisy and harm. Unhinged from corporate overlords, we fight to ensure no one is forgotten. We need your support to keep producing quality journalism and deepen our investigative reporting. Every reader contribution, whatever the amount, makes a tremendous difference. Invest with us in the future. Make a one-time contribution to Raw Story Investigates, or click here to become a subscriber. Thank you. Report typos and corrections to email protected. Let's block ads. Why?